Aloha and welcome. My name is Taylor Norris and I'm a galactic astrology soul reader and Reiki master teacher. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a little bit about the upcoming Jupiter Uranus conjunction in the zodiac sign of Taurus on April 20th, 2024, co creating heaven on earth. Thank you so much for being here together with me today in this video here and now. This conjunction occurring on April 20th, 2024 of planets Jupiter and Uranus is very, very powerful because it only happens about every 13 years. So Jupiter's orbit around the sun is about 12 years long. So Jupiter has to make one entire orbit around the sun, completing its 12 year cycle, and then about an extra year in order for it to catch up with Uranus. By comparison, the orbit of Uranus is about 84 years. So it takes 84 years for Uranus to make one whole rotation around the sun, one entire revolution. So you can see by Jupiter's 12 years to Uranus's 84 years, that that's quite a large difference. Jupiter is considerably closer to the sun and faster moving Uranus is considerably further out from the sun and slower moving. And when we divide 84 years by 12 years, we get the number seven, which is really interesting. So there is a resonance of that 12 year orbit nestled inside of the 84 year orbit, which is really, really interesting. And then so we have this number seven, and then thinking about that Uranus Jupiter conjunction only happens every 13 years, we have this other magic number, right? Lucky number seven, lucky number 13, 13 years every Jupiter Uranus conjunction. It's about 13 years apart from conjunction to conjunction. So you can look back and see what was happening in your life around January of 2011. This was the last time the conjunction occurred at 27 degrees of Pisces. And if you know your chart, what's going on at 27 Pisces in your chart? Do you have a planet there? Do you have a point there? What house in your astrological chart did this conjunction take place? This is a wonderful exploration and way to engage with the astrology and expand your understanding of the astrology. I can remember back to that time and can see how this was a huge wake up call for me. It was like a big tower moment in my path. It happened very unconsciously. So it was a big quantum leap, a big breakthrough that happened from forces of my soul, which I was unconscious of at the time as I was not actively consciously on my spiritual awakening path. This was well before my first Saturn return and, and actually occurred in college, my last two years of college, which feels like an entire lifetime ago. So you can think back to this time and look for any kind of big breakthrough moment that might have occurred and have a more of an idea about what this energy is like from a conscious or unconscious manifestation. This time around, I'm really excited about this conjunction because I've been on that path of spiritual awakening for the past 13 years. I've learned so much about my nervous system, how to run energy, the healthy habits that really serve my energy hygiene, that serve the physicality of my body, that serve my mental health, my emotional health, and you know, learn so much more about my authentic self and what I'm here to do, my Sole purpose. So this conjunction, I am seeing from a conscious on a conscious path of spiritual awakening as a big breakthrough, quantum leap, you know, a massive jump that catalyzes this force, this potent power of awakening, this power of love that will carry on through for the next 13 years. So it's incredibly exciting 
The conjunction is occurring at 21 degrees of Taurus, so you can look in your chart. Do you have planets at 21 degrees of Taurus, points at 21 degrees of Taurus? And you can look at, do you really have anything in your chart from around 17, 18 degrees to about 24, 25 degrees would be the, the biggest orb I would give this. Do you have any planets or points within those degree points within the earth signs? So within Virgo or Capricorn, this will be receiving a trine, a harmonious flow of energy. Anything with the water signs in Cancer will be receiving a sextile. In Pisces, will receive a sextile. In Scorpio, if you have anything around 17 degrees to 24, 25 degrees Scorpio, this will be occurring opposite. And then you can take a look also at square aspects. So from 17 to 25 degrees of Leo and Aquarius will receive squares. And like I said, with Scorpio, it will be an opposition. So that degree range will be affected, will be highlighted by this transit and this transit occurs somewhere in one astrological house of your chart that will be holding space for this quantum leap, this being on the verge of a breakthrough and having a breakthrough, having a kundalini awakening type of experience and really expanding your consciousness into the power of love. And this is set up very well because we have two eclipses before this conjunction so the libra lunar eclipse at the end of march the total solar eclipse in aries on april 8th followed by this conjunction april 20th and then just about a month later we have about a month to kind of stabilize recalibrate maybe deal with some of what the shift brought up within our lives, within the physical material world as it's occurring in Taurus before Jupiter en enters the sign of Gemini where it will remain until June 9th, 2025. Jupiter enters Gemini May 25th, 2024 and stays in the sign of Gemini for about a year. And when this occurs, things will be picking up faster. The energy will be moving and we see this mirrored by Pluto stabilizing within Aquarius by the end of this year in November 2024, and then Saturn and Neptune changing sign in 2025 into 2026. Uranus also changing sign eventually in 2026 as well. So the outer planets moving into these speedier air signs and fire signs. So the energy really will pick up. So using this time leading up to the conjunction to prepare, to ground, to put things in place where they need to be in place and also be open to the unexpected because this is a big dose. This is a a massive helping of the unexpected and what can feel like a tower moment at the unconscious level. And even at the conscious level, it can be a sort of tower moment, but it can be a tower moment for your highest good, the highest good of all. Even the unconscious tower moments, you know, reflecting back in my own more unconscious experience that occurred in 2011, it ultimately was for my highest good. It was not easy at all. But being on a more conscious path now, these kinds of tower moments of big change can be, you know, we actually elect into the big change and, and say yes to the big change and receive the big change. And therefore, it doesn't feel as imposed upon us from the outside. The next time this conjunction occurs will be in September of 2037, so 13 years from now in the sign of cancer. So things to look forward to as we circle back around, but really this next 13 years will be another major cycle of awakening, of breakthrough, of quantum leaps, of massively expanded consciousness, really grounded and embodied upon the earth. 
So I am teaching a class all about this on the day of the conjunction on April 20th. So I would love to have you in that class. We will be diving into the astrology, into the galactic astrology, making somewhat of a sense of all of this information, the potential, the possibilities, and really diving into the chart of the transit, the galactic energies as well. For all of us, what I'm feeling like this is a belief system infrastructure dismantling. So what needs to be dismantled and destroyed, letting loose, letting go, and also a rebuilding because many of us have been engaged in this space making process, right? Clearing away limiting beliefs and belief systems and reprogramming our consciousness, you know, letting go of conditioning and programming and then putting in belief infrastructure in place that supports us. So doing this from the inside and then also seeing how that can start meeting us within the physical world, within the tangible world, within material reality as this is occurring within the sign of Taurus. So anything that is falling away and being dismantled is doing so, so that the rebuilding can begin. And this is like a a new moon kind of moment where there's this whole new cycle in which the rebuilding begins this time from an even stronger, more grounded, more stable foundation that matches your frequency and your authenticity and your life purpose, your soul purpose, what you're here to do. This is also an injection of life force energy of kundalini dynamics. We see this mirrored in the galactic chart here with the alignments Jupiter and Uranus opposite Beta Centauri Hadar star and also interacting a bit more widely with Capula star and Perseus, which is all about the kundalini energy and even in the wider neighborhood of Algol, which would be the female kundalini energy this star also in the sign of taurus here so this is what the preparation has been for this is what the training has been for all you know if you've taken a lot of courses and done a lot of development and introspection and a lot of growth in the last 13 year cycle this is what all of that training has been for so that there's this whole new wave of awakening and life force and kundalini that can be activated at this time. So many different galactic energies we will dive into more specifically in the course because this chart is full of very powerful dynamics. We see there's a kite formation. There's much more to be said with Jupiter's alignment with Hadar star, Uranus's alignment with Hadar star, also called Aegina in Centaurus constellation. This is the priestly centaur associated with Chiron, who is making his way to make a sacrifice at the altar. And there's much to be said about Capula Star and any others that I may be guided to bring into the class, but a whole host of galactic energies definitely for all of us to connect with on this day at the time of this transit. And then of course, making this connection available for this next 13 year cycle. So I want to invite you formally to the class. It's going to be empowering and healing. I've been doing classes like this that combine the astrology, the galactic astrology with Reiki, taking a Reiki journey to actually directly experience these energies. And in this class, we will be directly experiencing Jupiter, Uranus, the higher frequencies of Taurus, and also the stars that are very prominent within this conjunction, including Aegina and Centaurus, as well as Capulus and Perseus and any others that make themselves known and want to be a part of the Reiki journey, which will be channeled. The first whole part of class will be diving into the astrology, so learning more about what Jupiter means, what Uranus means, the meanings of Taurus, diving into the chart of the conjunction, the astrology, and the galactic, and looking at the alignment specifically to the stars and more of the esoteric and the occult information. 
I've done classes in this style on Pluto and Aquarius as well as the Chiron North Node of the Moon conjunction that we had in February. And in each of these classes, I am being taken on an adventure by the actual astrological and galactic energies to put together the correct information, the teachings, the lessons that need to be revealed at the time. In each preparation, it's like I find synchronicity after synchronicity and magical connection that really brings forth a very unique set of information that I present in the first part of class. And we also have time for question and answer. And the class is open to everybody. So even those who are new to astrology and those who do not have any Reiki training, you guys are more than welcome. You all are more than welcome. And even more advanced Reiki students or more advanced astrology students are also more than welcome to attend the class. So the first half really focuses on the astrology, and then it's followed by a Reiki journey, which is channeled specific to receive the medicine and the healing of this transit and really power it forward for the next 13-year cycle. So this class sounds like something you're interested in. You can learn more at taylornorrisreiki.com. And it will be recorded. So it is live on Zoom as a meeting on April 20th from 8 to 11 a.m. Hawaii time when the Sacred Circle will be present together. But it will also be recorded and I will send those recordings out just as soon as possible to those who are unable to be present at the live event. So it's more than okay if you need to attend by recordings and receive the information that way. I've received very positive feedback from those who've been able to attend live and also those who listened and attended by recording. You are included in the circle and receive all the benefits in either case. And I really want to just welcome you, any of you who are feeling called to this, to this class, because each time. It's a sacred circle of soul family and such a joy and a pleasure to come together and really be in a in a very sacred ceremonial type of space together, a very conscious and intentional space together to receive the blessings, the miracles, the magic, the infinite possibilities contained within these magical, you know, extraordinary alignments that we are having, that the, the stars and the planets are mirroring to us our own inner processes and to work in that collaborative way with the stars and the planets is really how I see, you know, astrology evolving and even Reiki evolving as well. So it's very, very exciting to come together and radically expand our consciousness into the power of love together. So I hope you will join me for this class. There are some other things coming up, a Reiki 1 and 2 class, a Reiki share, and you can learn all about my classes, my readings, as well as my Reiki sessions on my website, taylornorrisreiki.com. And I really hope that this is a beautiful transit, a beautiful eclipse portal for you that you receive the highest possible expression of these energies co-creating with you and through you in your life right here and now and into the 13 years that are ahead from a linear time perspective. So thank you so much for being here. Aho, amen, namaste, and so it is, mahalo.